guys, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys kind of a beginner's guide to iMovie text. So just how you can make the most out of the limited amount of settings iMovie gives for text. So I hope this video is helpful for you guys and you learn something new. Before we get into this video, I want to say I have a video on how to add text over iMovie, but that has some alternatives to just using iMovie's text options. So it goes a bit more advanced. So if you want to check that video out, I'll have it in the eye up top, as well as the video which talks about adding animated text to iMovie. So you can also check that video out, also link in the eye up top. Definitely subscribe to my channel as well. I would really appreciate it and it's the best way to support me. So definitely do that as well. If you find this video helpful and you want to join our little community, I would really appreciate that. But okay, let's get to iMovie. So we're going to go into iMovie and here is my sample thing. So I every single tutorial I do, I have something in here. So let's add some text now. So the text options in iMovie, like I said, are limited and some text options are based off themes. So you'll see in the corner here, you have this settings icon, tap on that, and then you'll see you have some themes here that iMovie gives. Usually mine is set on neon, but it doesn't really matter. So you can choose whichever one you like, but this theme does something to your text. When I go to the text option here, you'll see if I go here, all the way to this side, this is your theme text. So I'm gonna switch over to a different theme real quick. So let's do bright, done. If I now go here all the way to the end, this changes based on your theme. So yeah, that, just keep that in mind. So here are all the text options that iMovie has and each of these text options have different animations and things that make it more unique. So here you can see you have a slide, you have a split. So it just makes that little split in the middle. You have chromatic, which has that kind of like, it looks almost like a glitch effect. Then you just have standard, prism, gravity, reveal, line title, expand, focus, pop-up, and then the themed text. So those are all the text options that you get in iMovie. These are newer additions to iMovie's text. I did a video when this update came out. So this is newer and I'm really glad that they finally added some new things because they've had the same text for a few years now. So um, let's just choose split for now and then I'm going to share with you guys like how this works and everything so here you can see this is the animation that it gives and you can tap on your text and just write anything so i'm going to click edit and then i'm just going to write something so iMovie text and then you can also when you click on done you can resize your text to a certain size and you can move it around if you want and then we have some more options up here to edit your text so the first one here is AA, so this is your font selection. So you do have a limited amount of fonts you can use, which I know it sucks. But if you have an app called AnyFont, I think, yeah, that's the app. Um, let me just show you guys on the App Store. This app does cost money though, but it's very cheap for what it does. So in this app, you can, if you have any fonts that you have downloaded from the internet or something you can import those fonts into this app and then just install those fonts on your phone so then you can have those fonts available on any app so here you can see i have any font open now on my phone and now if i have a font like here i just imported this from fonto so if you want to know how to do that you just go in fonto go to your fonts and click here on edit and then you can just choose whichever font you want to share. So for instance, if I want to share this one here, and then it pops up this share option. And any font will usually be here if you've already used it. Otherwise, it will be at the more area. And then you can find any font and then it just imports it into the app. So to install this on your device, click on this option and click on install. And it's going to take you to this thing here and you just have to click on allow. And then you have to go to settings and you'll see it already says profile downloaded. Tap on that and then just install those. Just tap on install and install enter your passcode. Now you'll see if I go back to iMovie, go to my fonts area. These are the two newest fonts that I just added and they work on iMovie now. So that's how you can get custom fonts on iMovie. You do need a paid app, but if you have that app, it's very cheap. You can have a lot of more font options. So that I just wanted to share with you guys. It's not really important. I wasn't really planning on sharing that, but I think it's very helpful for anyone who doesn't know like how to get custom fonts on iMovie. That's a way you can do it. Okay, 
Moving on, now we're going to move to this styling option here, which has the color. So you can go ahead and just create your own color, whichever one you want. So I have a few you can choose from. You can use the spectrum or the sliders. And then here on the three dots, you have a few other options. So you can have it all uppercase or not. So you can edit that and you can select text shadow. So if you want to shadow over your text or not, it just helps it stand out a bit more. Style here, you can go ahead and select default or lower third, and that will put it down here in a corner. I'm just going to go with default. I'm going to have to resize that again. This full clip duration setting here, it depends on the length of your clip though. So my clip here is 3.4 seconds, so it's not very long. But here you can see it's not the full duration of this clip because it starts and it shows, but then when it fades, you see there's a little time here where it doesn't have your text. But you can just go ahead and enable full clip duration, and that text will be there until your clip is over, and then it just fades out. So if I show it with a longer clip here, now if I don't have full clip duration on, you'll see it just shows and then it goes away, so it's not the entire duration, or... You can just go ahead and select full clip duration and then it stays for the entire clip. This is really helpful if you want your title to stay on longer on the screen. Also, some text has different options for transitions. So let me just show you guys what I mean by that. So um, here you can see if I have my text here, my theme text, you can go ahead and click on the three dots here and you can select style again. But here you can select opening, middle, or closing. So the opening for this neon text looks like this. So it has this big effect that it throws up. Then middle, which is like this again. This is the middle. And then it has a closing option as well, which looks like this. So some of these have different effects depending on the type. So ex for example, the other more plain text usually just have like, if I go to style a default and a lower third, which just puts it in a corner. So that just depends on which you're using. And also some of these have sound effects. So this you'll also find here. If it has this thing that says sound effect on or off, it means it has a sound effect that you can use or not. So some of these have different options than others. I think that's about it for text on iMovie. Like I said, this is a very beginner's guide to just understanding the different tools that iMovie has for text and how you can get like other fonts and things like that. It's not very in detail, but I really hope this helped you guys. Again, I have those other two videos, which I have on the iUp top in the description box below, which just says a bit more in detail about other things you can do with text and things like that and how to add animated text in iMovie. I think those will help you guys as well to really master text in iMovie. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below any other questions you might have for me surrounding text in iMovie. I would love to answer them for you guys. And definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all my other iMovie tutorials. So it's other tips and things that I show you guys on iMovie. I think it will help you guys. And click on the video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.